Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, you know, I got to thank y'all, man, for all the support, all the comments. Uh, I'm getting a lot of support, and I really appreciate that. Um, I just did a video recently about white slaves in America. And I did say that what I would do is I would follow up on that with another video. So I did some research. And I think this is a perfect time to go ahead and follow up on that. Uh, come to find out, the first slaves that were came to the Americas were uh, they weren't even black. Uh, they weren't black. They were uh, white. So you had the King of England, and you had the King of Scotland. So the King of Scotland during that time had sold 300 of his prisoners. So he had a lot of political prisoners back then that wanted to overthrow him. Overthrow him. So what he did was he said, well, I know what I'll do. I'll just get rid of them. I'll just sell them. So he sold them to England. And uh, England took them, put them on a boat, brought them over to the Americas. And they didn't call them uh, prisoners. They called them indentured servants. But I'm going to tell you something. If somebody sell you, if if some I don't care who it is, if somebody sell you, then uh, you a slave, you know. Okay, what fancy word they you look up they use? So a lot of them, when they came over, they said, "Well, what we'll do is we will uh, work you for so long, and then after we work you for a certain amount of time, you work for five to ten years, then all bets is off." Your debt's paid. And we, we throw you 40 acres of this land and a mule. That way you get started. A lot of people don't know. That's where a lot of that came from too. So, um, they brought them over. But what they did was, that's why a lot of people, you know, talk about them tattoos. Okay, see, that's another controversial subject. So what they did was, they tattooed them. They tattooed them. And they had a mark on there. And they said, hey, this is when your uh, time is up. For this person and so if you for example if a person paid for your passage to for you to come over from England and you was going to be what they call an indentured servant if they if you agreed to that and they got you they got your family over and let's say you broke that agreement and you went to their makeshift court they could they could they could just enslave you or just hold you indefinitely which means, period, you know, if you broke that. So a lot of a lot of people were coming over, and they would do the five years, and toil in their farms, and do whatever it is they told them to do. And then when the time was over with, they would say, well, uh, you know you want your, with your wife and your kids over here. We can get them over here and do another uh, five years. They said, well, I want my wife and my kids over here. Well, shoot, just get them over here, you know? So they bring them over here. And they do another five years. They say, well, I guess that's it. You know, I did my five years. Got my family over here. Where are my 40 acres and my mule? And they said, well, wait, hold on now. You said, and it's right here in the contract. You said you're going to do five years. He said, I just did five years. Yeah, five years for your wife and five years for your kid. You know, me another five years. You said you're going to bring them over. And I ain't what the contracts say. Contracts say five apiece. So they do another five years. The five years get over with. And man, that's it, man. I gave you 15 years of my life, man. Want my 40 acres of mule. And I don't want to do business with you no more. They said, that's fine. But I need you to uh, remember when your wife got sick? And all the food y'all been eating for 15 years, I got a tally of it right here. This is how much y'all been eating. You got to work that off. And this, All these games just kept playing over and over. So a lot of them ran off. A lot of them ran off. That indenture serving thing, it did not work out well for them. It didn't work out well. And so it got to be a problem, you know, chasing them down and identifying them. And a lot of people could uh identify them because they look just like they did so when they found out about you know africa uh a 
my black people ain't gonna want to hear this, but unfortunately, I gotta tell you the truth. And I've done my research. When they went over there, a lot of the tribes were warring with each other, and they were taking in slaves, and they sold our own people off too. So there's a lot of the atrocities go both ways, you know. And that's I'm not downplaying the the, the atrocities that a lot of the um, uh, slave owners did. You know, people talk about Thomas Jefferson like he was something uh, great, or George Washington like they was something great. Wasn't nothing great about them dudes. Them dudes was uh, pedophiles and slave owners, you know. They are uh, rapists. Anytime you, anytime a man takes somebody to bed, another woman or, or a man, you force them to get in the bed and have sex with them against their will, you raped them. So they known rapists, you know. So our forefathers, man, they ain't nothing but some freaking rapists, pedophiles. So um, ain't nothing great about them, you know. You know why they would put them on money and resurrect statues behind. That's a, that, that just go to show how messed up this country is, you know. Just go and set the truth out there. Just go and set the truth. Enslave your own kids. So if I if I if I take it, I enslave my own kids. I keep them in the house and make them toil the soil and and and, and, and rape them. Then I'm wrong. I'm a pedophile, you know. But but he can do it. We gonna put his face on some money. We gonna uh, resurrect a bunch of statues behind him. Man, get out of here with all that. Man. So having said that, man, uh, you know. You guys are out here, you girls are out there, you're taking these chances, uh, you know, unnecessary chances. Going to these prisons, these people don't mean you no good. All they're trying to do is enslave you. She said, well, what can I do about it? What you can do about it is don't let them enslave you. Don't fall for the trap. Don't fall for the okie doke. Don't be a fool. It's different if you didn't know. But once somebody tells you something, now you know. You know. Don't do it. Guys, if you out there and you trying to get that fancy car because you're trying to get that girl, man, look. If that's what it takes to get her, then don't get her. Don't get her. She ain't out there doing that so she can get with you. She ain't out there. You got a lot of girls getting there, man. They talk about I like I like uh, drug dealers. I like scammers. I ain't never heard one of them say, uh, "I'm gonna be there for him." Uh, he can ball, but don't, but but don't fall. As soon as you go, you know what I'm saying. So ball till you fall, fellas. But listen, as soon as you fall, she on her way. They ask her all the time in them gold digger videos, uh, "What happened if the man, you know, take a loss and he go to jail?" Shit, holler at me when you get out and you, and you get on your feet. When you get on your feet. See, y'all can go out there and uh, do whatever it is you want, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm not doing it. I can guarantee you one thing. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. So she wants somebody to go to jail. She better be prepared to go herself because uh, she waiting on me to do it. That's not gonna happen. Like I did the one video, man, it ain't tricking if you got it. And like I mentioned before, fellas, you ain't got it. When you think you got it because you got a car and a few dollars in your pocket, shoot, you don't going to need that money when you get where you're going. You're going to need that money to buy your house. And if you got it like that, then I can get on your own business. You dummy, get your business. Get your paper up. Nobody likes to be called a dummy. If you're a dummy, what do you want me to call you? So, having said that, don't be a slave. Take it from an ex-slave. I don't give a damn man about no money. That's all well and good. People say, how come you don't wear your jewelry when you're on the show? And how come you don't do that? Where for what? To impress who? About what? 
No. That's not what this show is about. This show is about educating the masses. I'm trying to educate the mass people. You know. I'm not mad at somebody because they get on out there and they see somebody got something and they want every they want a part of it. Everybody um want something nice. Everybody wants to be treated special and would like to have something that's maybe, you know, that's not obtainable. There's nothing wrong with that. But what makes it wrong is when you're out there, especially the fellas, you know, you're out there and you're doing these atrocities, doing these crimes, so you can try to woo somebody that if you get shot, she ain't coming to the funeral. If you go to jail, she ain't going to take your son a gift on Christmas, on his birthday, on her birthday. You're not going to do it. So take care of your business. You got to go get two jobs. You know, go get educated. Start your own lawn care service. Start your own whatever it is that you got to do. But don't. Be a slave. Don't go out there and trick your life off. You know, don't do it. So, having said that, um, that's where it all came from, man. And I, I'm not talking about blacks. I'm talking about white people too. You know, shit, y'all was the first slaves over here. Y'all really shouldn't be doing it. So, indenture servants. Somebody sold you. You a slave. You was a slave. And I got news for you again. Sooner you get convicted of a crime, like I mentioned in one of my other videos, 13th Amendment of the United States Constitution. No person shall be forced into servitude or slavery unless after being duly convicted. And then you a slave. So it don't matter what color you are. Shit. Grow up. Educate yourself. Do good. I want to see y'all all out there free. I don't want to see nobody in no uh, prisons. You know? I don't want to see that. You know? So, having said that, take heed to what I'm saying. Um, stop being a white slave. Stop being a black slave. Stop being Mexican. Whatever slave you got, stop doing it. You got the choice. It's your choice. Them prisons can't, can't do nothing without you. They're going to take their money and their investments and say, man, this ain't working, man. These people, man, Tubbs done told them. They, they ain't going for this. They ain't going for this. So now, you ain't, would you invest your money? Think about this. Would you invest your money in something that wasn't making you no money? You invested, okay, you throw it out there, you invest it, and it ain't making no money. Later on, it ain't making no money. So it don't make sense. If it don't make money, it don't make sense to keep doing it. Right now, they invest their money in private prisons because it makes sense to do it. It makes sense. And I'm not talking about S-E-N-S-E. -E. I'm talking about C-E-N-T-S. It's making sense for them to do it. So make sure it don't make no sense for them to do it. You got the power. You got the power to do it. And they're charging somebody a dollar for a Roman noodle soup. Knowing they ain't got nothing. Still oppressing people. All these hundreds of years later. Ain't nothing changed up under this sun. So, having said that, I'm in this video for right now. I do appreciate you. Uh, I do appreciate your support. I hope you like. I hope you subscribe. And I really hope you comment. I always want to hear what you got to say. Like I say all the time, man. It is what it is unless you handle your biz. Having said that. I will talk to y'all later. Peace.